story for you. If you've been around the Bay Area for a while, there's a good chance you remember the Bushman. Literally, a guy dressed up as a bush, jumping out and startling people on Fisherman's Wharf. He was around for years, starting in the 1990s and going through the mid-2010s. Now, the tradition is back. It makes you smile or laugh at least. Bushman 2.0, or maybe he's 3.0. He's known as Bay Area Bushman, and his videos are generating a lot of buzz on social media. He started a few months ago. Job description, pretty basic. Jump out on people at Fisherman's Wharf, and sometimes in downtown San Jose, and sometimes even in Palo Alto. Joining us tonight, the man behind the bush, Corey Barnett from San Jose. Corey, nice to have you on the program. Uh, first question, maybe my only question, why are you doing this? Man, first of all, shout out to the, uh, you know, the OG, the originators of the Bushman, the world famous, you know, and I say world famous because, you know, this was like a national story back in the 90s. And um, I've seen people doing the Bushman thing all over the world now, like Africa, Spain, UK, <laughs> France, you name it. So, um, I, yeah, I saw a YouTube video on it and, um, and I just couldn't stop watching. Like, it just reminded me of the times when I was walking down the wharf and um, watching the Bushman. So... Here I am. I got inspired to do it. Bring well, you, it back to the Bay Area where it started. You're making a lot of people smile. You're even smiling right now, and you're not even in costume. Uh, when you're in yes, action, yes. what's the reaction from the people being terrified? We know they're scared right away, but then what happens 20 to 30 seconds after that? Right, man. Laughs. You know, <laughs> uh, they're laughing. People are laughing. There's people across the street filming, laughing. It's just really like a um, family-friendly thing. A lot of kids involved. And uh, just everybody having a good time laughing together. If you're not laughing, I'm not laughing, so. You, you, you gave shout-out to the original Bushman, the OG. Uh, he got tips. Uh, are people tipping you? Is it lucrative? Or are they now just saying, oh, let me Venmo you a, a buck or two? Uh, yeah, I get that sometimes. Like, oh, man, you should have a QR code out here. Like, what's <laughs> up? But, uh, yeah, I get plenty of tips. Like, the first few times I uh, went out there, I didn't take a tip jar. I was just mainly doing this uh, content creating. But people were telling me, like, man, you need a tip jar. So, uh yeah, definitely getting the tips, man. Uh, Corey, do you, have a, do you have a day job? And what does your family and friends say about this? Man, uh, currently, no. And uh, my family and friends, uh, they think it's crazy. Like, I told a few people <laughs> I was going to do it. But until they actually saw me, like, in the suit, in the pot, like, they didn't believe it. <laughs> uh, you mentioned the original OG Bushman. Uh, I believe, because I grew up here, too, uh, he was only in San Francisco, right there, Fisherman's War for Pier 39. You're expanding the reach here. Where else do you do this? Yes, sir. Um, I started in uh, doing on Palo Alto on a university app, and then I own um, San Pedro um, Street in San Jose, and uh, I've hit Santa Cruz, and I plan to hit more areas. The whole plan is to, like, do it in areas where there's, like, you know, um, people are having fun, people are in the mood, leisure activities, you're going to eat, going to drink, families, couples, things like that. That, like, I'm not trying to, you're not going to see me popping up in, like, a shopping center trying to get people <laughs> going into Target or CVS or something like that. Yeah, especially nowadays. <laughs> nowadays, you got to be careful. All right, thanks for making a lot of people smile. Right. Appreciate your time tonight, Corey. Appreciate you, man. You got, you got it. it.